been more than 24 hours now since people at an encampment in city, Hamilton City Hall were given eviction notices. However, the encampment still stands, even as additional notices were handed out today. Sean Cowan is live at Hamilton City Hall with the very latest. Good evening, Sean. Good evening. Well, these trespassing notices were handed out to the people here today, and in them, they say they could be fined up to $10,000. But the people I've been speaking with here today tell me that if they can't afford housing, how are they going to afford to pay for a $10,000 fine? I want to get housed, right? I want off the streets, and I want the... <laughs> People of Hamilton that are supposed to help us get housed actually help us get housed instead of leaving us out here on the streets. Dar has been living on the streets for the past seven years. She says she left an abusive relationship and lost everything. There's been a lot of ups and downs, it's like some scary nights. I don't know where I'm going, where I'm sleeping, you know, how I'm going to cover up at night when it's cold, or how I'm going to have heat, or even where I'm going to eat, right? So. The encampment protest here at City Hall started at the beginning of March in support of people like Dar. It was also a reaction to City Council striking down a motion that would turn two parking lots in Stony Creek into affordable housing. Around 85 people are living here at City Hall and others are here to show support. They were served eviction notices at the beginning of the month as well as yesterday and given trespassing notices today. There is nowhere for people to go that they are safe, so they are willing to lay down and just die right here um, at, at City Hall and let City Hall see them die because they know that they have nowhere else to go that's safe. They know that the food is here, they know the health care is here, and the social navigators are here. According to the Good Shepherd in Hamilton, housing is not a one-size-fits-all solution. I don't think it's just a city issue. I think it's all levels of government and the community as a whole, that we need to embrace a whole variety of models that will provide effective solutions for people who are impacted by housing precarity and homelessness. Dar wants people to know she just wants a safe place to call home. I found out from my son, he's got a baby on the way, so I've got a granddaughter on the way, so I want a place so I have somewhere I can actually bring my grandbaby to. So according to those eviction notices that were handed out here yesterday, everyone was supposed to leave here by midnight last night. So I did reach out to the city today to see if those eviction notices and trespassing notices would be enforced today. The city told me that they are currently working with the people who are here to try and find them support and services. I also heard from the city and I was told that the shelters in Hamilton right now are operating at capacity. I'll send it back inside to you.